Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry, Sherry from Florida's Life. We're going to do part two of my Tesla car. Tesla Model 3 Dual Motor 2021 Edition. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with some of these features. I did take a few notes of things I would like to share with you all. All right, let's get started here. Controls, the lights, the mirrors, child safety. That's a good feature to have if you have young children. I do not have any young children. I do have grandchildren, but they don't live in, near me. So anyways, you got wipers, different settings, mirrors, steering wheel. This Your steering wheel will move up and down for you. And sentry mode is, I believe, is when you have your, it'll be recording for you, people who are nearby. Ours is off. I'm sitting at home in my garage. And you can do the screen. See how it changes. Let's carry on. Pedals and steering. And I don't know a whole lot about all these, so bear with me I'm not an expert and by no means is this video supported or sponsored by Tesla this is my personal opinion all right charging all right I had to take my drive my car out to the driveway because it was a little too dark in my garage let's carry on so charging I'll earn certain I will insert a clip. I will insert a clip of the charging. All right, open port. How many amps? We have our set up for a timer when we want to charge. We charge our car between 12 midnight to 6 a.m. because it's off peak. It costs us less to charge off peak. On peak, you're of course paying more for charging so we always charge overnight okay autopilot my husband has used this once and I myself do not like autopilot I like to be in control of my car and if you do you do drive with autopilot it'll have a reminder put your hand on the wheel so the car basically knows you're still there all right Locks. My husband's phone, my phone. Key cards. Again, the child locks are off. You have both sides. Let's continue. The lights. You have fog lights. You have dome lights. You have regular headlights. Ours is on auto. You got ambient lights. High auto beam. Headlights after exit, steering wheel lights, display, your screen, brightness, screen clean, your language. All right, let's see, We've got trips. How much have we driven the last time around? So I can zoom in a little bit more. This one is two miles because I went in and out the driveway a couple times. Navigation. This is excellent. I like navigation. So this is navigation. And let's show you this. Navigation. This is great. It shows you your area where you're at, what's around you. Let's go back here. That was it. Navigation. Reroute. If there's traffic or something, you can get rerouted. Safety. Not sure too much about this. Oh, I didn't see. Cruise control. That's what we had it set at. Five miles per hour over the speed limit. There's a sentry mode. The camera exclude home and exclude work. My husband works from home, so it's, of course, he's not going to work. 
that's the uh, cameras the camera so we have this on the dash cam when we honk at somebody it'll start recording so if you get into an accident service It'll say tire pressure. Right now it's not really registering because I'm not really driving anywhere. Of course, I'm sitting in my driveway. You get the owner's manual. Quite a few little things in here. And seat and steering calibration. That is comes under the profile. Let's go to the profile really quick. So me, of course, everything is setting. See how my seat is moving closer? Let's try that again. I'm going to press my profile name on the screen and watch. Everything is adjusting for me. I'm moving closer. I don't know if you can tell, but I just moved closer. Because I have short legs. Let's continue. Software. I went through this one yesterday. We are at 6,100 miles. We named our car Ghost. It's Pearl White. Upgrades. And we have part of the premium connectivity. $10 a month. We get navigation, light, traffic, visual visualization, and a few other for few and a few other features here. Now I'm going to show you a few things on the outside of the car. For the tire rotation, Tesla recommends that you change your tires, you rotate your tires every 6,250 miles and you saw we are getting really close. Look how easy it is to open up the Tesla. You push this and it opens. I'm going to show you one more feature when you open the door. See, you press this and you watch the window. The window comes down. It keeps from wrecking the trim here when the window goes down. Another feature I want to show you is around the inside, press this button and opens the door. From the door from the inside. Press, and the door opens, and the window goes down. Close, and the window goes back up. Look at the Model 3. Right inside the door here. You can see I'm backing, I'm backing up into my driveway from the rear camera. It's awesome. Hi, it's Sherry. As I'm editing my current video part two, I thought of some things that I wanted to show you. So I'm going to insert them in the video. I, it is the next day, but I want to show you what I forgot to show you on the display, if that makes sense. Let's, let's check this out. So on the display, I talked about charging, and I want to show you there's a glare. I'm very sorry. Let's see if I can fix this a little bit. Right here, as you see the numbers, this is where you can go and charge your car. Let me zoom in. There is six spots open you can charge your car. And here is one up here. Let's go down here a little bit. These are the places that are nearby me. Before we started charging at home, we would go to Wawa. It was closer for us to go and charge a car over there. But it was more expensive. Here's one. Just wanted to show you that part of the charging. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about our charging. Charging the car. We have a 30 amp charger hooked up here. It's really hard to see, but we have a splitter that's connected to our dryer and our charging. We can only use one at a time. If we use both together, it shares with our dryer. Like I mentioned, if we do both at once, they will both stop. One will trip up. I'll show you how this works. Let's take this out. 
walk to the car, tap, and it'll open. Plug it in, and this will start, this will turn green when it starts to charge. So this is, this is not going to turn green because we have our scheduled charging from, like I mentioned, from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. But you get the picture, right? Easy. Now that I'm not going to charge it, I will hit this little button here. It'll unlock it. And this will close manually. I just want to wrap up this video. Just want to wrap up this video with our new car. Tesla. Ghost. Yes, we named her Ghost. I really hope you like this video. Please let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. I appreciate that. Anything more you want to see? Again, I'm not a professional. I don't know a whole lot about the car. I'm not a car person. But I want to show you what we got. Our Tesla. I like it. And like I mentioned in the last video, I was scared of it. I didn't know what to expect, but we went from a truck, a Dodge Ram truck, to a car. I didn't really want to get a car for a long time because I just, I didn't feel safe. But Ghost, good old trusted reliable. Camera goes off, notifications go off, the car gets too close, cuts you off. If you get too close, you don't pay attention. You cross the line, beep, 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 she's saying. Pay attention. He, she says pay attention. But leave me a comment below. Do you have a Tesla? I hope you like this video as I mentioned. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you care. Subscribe to my channel to see more information about whatever else I share next. I don't have a schedule. I just go with the flow. Sherry's Florida Life. And I share what I feel like sharing. If it's something you want to see particular, let me know a place, Disney, you name it, let me know. I'm going on a uh, trip, a day trip here, heading out soon, maybe this weekend. I'm not gonna tell you where in case it doesn't happen, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Sherry's Florida Life, signing off for now. Have a great day, thanks for watching. Bye.